Hi everyone, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming and on this video I'm going to show you how to do this project and I hope it will turn out okay. It's really a project that's way outside of my comfort zone and um, it was inspired by this. I want to show you. I saw this on Pinterest. Can you guys see that? And I thought, ooh, I would love to have that painting, except it was $698. Hey, Amy. So I decided to try to make it. And um, the reason why it is outside of my comfort zone is because I typically do projects that are balanced and, and uh, even and matchy-matchy and that have a definite um, image. I don't generally do anything like this. This is called pointillism. And um, so you have to give up the desire to have it be perfect. And um, okay, so let's just jump right in and I'll show you what I did. Okay, so I had one of these wooden signs just hanging out in my office. Um, I painted it. I painted two coats of white. It's called Blessed Rescue Restore Paint. And I forgot to put links in this. I'll put links in the comments in case you want to look at any of this or you want to order it and try it yourself. Okay, so this is two coats of Blessed and then on the edges and down the sides and slightly on the inside, I used uh, painter's tape, is another paint from um, that's called Little Black Dress, and it's Rescue Restore paint from a maker studio. Okay, and then when that dried, then I um, applied this. This is gilding size. It's a special kind of glue that you use when you're going to be gilding. So I am going to be using this gold leaf. It's a brand new package. So I'm gonna open it up. Hey Kelly, hey Shelly. I know there were a couple other people on there before but I didn't catch it in time. Um, okay, and this is what you get. Uh, you'll get one of these little sleeve thingamabobs that has 25 sheets of gold leaf. So the area that I'm gonna gild is just around the edge. So I don't wanna waste a ton of it. So my thought was I'm gonna cut it into thin strips and then I will just lay that over my areas. Hopefully this will work, I don't know. I don't usually do Facebook Lives with projects that I've never done before. Christian, I'm live. Sorry. Um, okay, so this is what I have right now, is these little pieces. And um, I applied this about 10 minutes ago. And when you put it on wood, it really soaks in quickly and it comes to tack. Tack is the, hey Kelly, hey Jennifer, which is the special word that means that the glue is the right stickiness. And you can kind of tell because it gets a little translucent looking and kind of almost has sort of a greenish sheen. Okay, so we'll see how this is gonna go. I'm just going to pick up my book. That's what they call this and lay it on. Of course, the dogs have to pick this exact moment. And I'll burnish that. Then I'll lift my book up again. Hopefully I won't be completely sorry that I decided to try this live. Mia, no. Christian has a friend over and she wants to go play. So I'm just gonna do part of this and I'll be picking up you can see if you have any glue left over on your hands hey Pamela um, it'll stick to the gold leaf but that's okay so I'm just gonna do part of it uh, now and then I will share it when it's um, completed maybe I'm just gonna pick up pieces one by one maybe it would be easier to get it on that way Oh, you know what? I am, uh, the tack is, I need to get this on before the tack is over. So I'll just go ahead and do all of this. If you need to wash dishes or something, 
feel free to get up. But I hope you'll stay to the end because, oh my gosh, this project is so cool. And I practiced making the pointillism dots on some paper plates. And I'm really excited to actually do that on this uh, project here. So you basically just want to cover all the spots where your um, gold leaf is going to be. Hey Donna, hope you guys are having a good day. If you have any questions or comments, um, feel free to uh, tell me or ask me a question. So what are you guys up to? Hey, tell me what was a project that you did that you really felt out of your comfort zone. Does anybody have a project like that um, that they could share? I tend to kind of do the same thing over and over. I'm a creature of habit. And when I get into a routine, I like to do that routine over and over. So last summer it was gilding and I gilded everything in the house. Um, this summer it's been black and white and I'm still stuck on that. So everything, every project I've done has been black and white. Okay, I'm almost getting there. I do have a little basket that um, when I'm done with my gilding, I'll usually kind of sweep up the bigger pieces and put those in the basket because I like to be able to use them uh, all mixed up with the different um, kinds of leaf that we have. We have gold, silver, copper, and variegated copper. And, um, and this stuff though, it's not, it's not expensive at all. Hey, Lisa Scott. Hey, Becky. I couldn't see who was on before that. I'm almost finished here. Anyways, so, and I don't like to throw anything away if I can possibly reuse it. So that's why I save my little pieces. Wow, well this really didn't take as much as I was thinking it would take. Let me just get my last spots covered. Can you see how shaky I am? I might have had too many uh, cups of coffee this morning. Okay, do I have most of my spots covered? All right, this is what it looks like right now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to wad up some of these little tissue papers and I'm burnishing the gold leaf onto the frame. And I'll see little spots that I missed the gold leaf and you can just pull up a chunk and press it down like on my corner here. This looks so good. I really hope this project turns out good. Um, Norma Jean, how does it not fall apart when you touch it? Well, that is hard. Um, you usually handle it with the little pieces of the orange paper, sort of as a barrier. Um, and you have to make sure that you have all of the size off your hands or else it will stick to your hands. Um, I've done a lot of gilding. It, maybe it doesn't look like I have before. Um, so I'm kind of used to it. Uh, but in the beginning when I first started learning how to do gilding, I would have um, gilded fingers and fingernails and I would have it everywhere. Okay, so once you have the uh, basics covered, then you're going to just take a stiff brush like this and just brush it. And after I'm all done with this project, I will go back over it a few more times to get 
every little speck of gold leaf off, like in the corners and the places that I didn't want it, want it to be. But I don't want you to have to sit there and watch me doing that. So after this project is all complete, assuming it turns out halfway decent, I will um, post pictures. Okay, let me do this side and then I'll show you what it looks like. And I'll have to get the vacuum cleaner out this afternoon because there's going to be little specks of gold leaf everywhere in the house. And for some reason, that really bothers my husband. He does not like it when there's little specks of gold everywhere. So the gold leaf basically will stick anywhere that you had the size if you let it come to tack. Sorry, that's not a very good view. This is what it looks like now. Okay, and let me pull up the picture that we're going for so that you can compare. Hey, Joyce. Hey, Christy. Let's see. Okay, so um, the picture has a gold rim, and then the inside edges of it are black, and then there's a thin border of black inside the picture. You guys see that? Okay, now the, the step that's gonna be really hard for me, get all this, as much of this uh, gold off of here before I start. Okay, the part that's gonna be really hard for me is the part where I put these little blobs of paint on. And um, to do that, I practiced, I'll show you my practice paper plate. <laughs> We're really fancy here. Hey, Chris. Um, I practice not on another one of these projects, but on a paper plate. So what I'm going to do is I'm using this Rescue Restore paint in black, which is the same stuff that I used in there. And I'm going to just be dipping my paintbrush in it and then off offloading a little bit. And this is an artist brush that you can get this actual one if you like this from a maker studio too. Okay, oh my gosh, the first blob is gonna be hard because this is just, let me do a couple and I'll show you what it looks like. And I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm going to put this for fall on my mantle. Okay, this is what I have so far. And I obviously will do row after row after row. Um, <laughs> Joyce says fancy. You can do it, well I'm trying, it just feels so weird. Um, okay, so I dipped my paintbrush and then I essentially lay it down on its side on the piece. Let me keep, keep going a little bit further. And then I do kind of want to have my rows be spaced sort of the same. I can go back and uh, fill in the, the little blobs that are maybe too skinny later. But um, And I want to have my rows be going straight-ish. In other words, not down not aimed down. And then when I start doing the next row, what I thought is that I would um, kind of put the next row of blobs in between the blobs on this row. Okay, so this is what I have. Can you guys see that? So for the next row, I'll go in between. And this is it. I really don't want you to have to sit and watch me do every single little blob here. So as soon as I'm actually finished with it, I will give it a little time to dry. I'll clean up the gold leaf and I'll put it on my fireplace and I will um, come, I'll uh, put it in the uh, comments and probably post it on all my different social media channels. Um, 
with pictures of what I was able to make and save $698. I didn't have to go to anthropology to buy that beautiful piece of artwork because I already had all these craft and DIY supplies on hand. And I just stretched myself a little bit to try something different. So anyways, hope you like this project and thank you for watching. And until I see you next time, I will be DIY dreaming up a bunch of other fun projects that require absolutely no artistic abilities, that are super affordable and pretty darn quick to accomplish. And I'll share those with you then. Thanks.